Good morning, a couple minutes late. Having a little trouble getting situated. <laughs> Mr. Gunner does not want his breakfast today. I could not get him to eat. Hi, Evie. Thank you for being patient and waiting for me. Um, today is Wednesday. I never know what day it is. We're doing full body weighted workout, which means I am putting on my shoes. You are welcome to the same Eduardo from Panama and Beth Lane. So shoes or not, I am putting shoes on. I seem to like them for this format. But of course, you are welcome to go without. That is completely doable. Um, all right, so all it means is that you still need enough space to step front, side, and back from wherever you're starting. Um, I am using my mat, but just um, just to put my um, hands on when we go into a plank position, or knees if you want it for your knees. So we're, I'm also using five pound dumbbells. You're welcome to use something similar. If you don't have dumbbells, um, then you can use either nothing, which will still give you a great workout, or two things that weigh the same amount that you can hold in your hands. Now today, I guess I'm feeling a little not stronger than usual. I have over here an extra set of dumbbells. These are seven and a half. I'm not going to use these for the whole time, but I am going to use them. I'm going to try to use them for one of the exercises. So we'll warm up. We'll learn six different exercises. We'll alternate between strength and cardio. Then we'll go back and do all six again. Then we'll learn six more. Go back and do those, and that will take us to core and stretch. Um, I'm also keeping a couple of towels nearby. There's gonna be a sweat fest in here. And then also a beverage. Mine is hidden over here. I'm still working straw. Water and a fancy one glass. Hi, guy. And not even water that's that cold. So, if you're watching this after the fact and not live on my YouTube fitness channel, thanks for subscribing to that, telling a friend, um, liking the video. Um, whatever you like to do over there, comment, complain. If you complain, just make it funny. That's my only request. Um, I also keep all these classes on my YouTube or um, um, on my IGTV. You can just go on there, click the little icon, you'll find over 160 classes. So um, if you're working with any kind of an injury, make sure that you limit your range of motion and or use lighter dumbbells. Um, I, and if you've seen a doctor for an injury, make sure that you've been cleared to do this craziness so that you don't aggravate yourself physically any further. Thank you to everybody who's been able to throw a donation in my Venmo, my PayPal, my snail mail, or any other way that you've gotten it to me. I really appreciate it. It's been keeping this, this um, living room gym going. See, he won't need, he's got his, carrying his chew stick around like a cigar. Um, so yeah, so thank you to that. It's making it possible for this to continue. So having said that, if you're not standing already, let's stand up. Make sure that all your space is clear. I'm gonna clear mine. My dumbbells seem to have crept up. All right, so you're in the middle of your space. Step, touch, right and left. Ready? Let's try to do this on the beat. So just stepping touch, side to side, hips under your shoulders. Final four in this set, then plant your feet and find your squat here. Push down to come up. Your tailbone goes back to where the wall meets the floor behind you. Sink, push down. So squeezing your glutes without locking your knees. Let's do it again, step touch. So out and in, easy enough. For four, three, plant your feet and find your squat here. Practice pushing down to the middle of your feet as if you were on a leg press machine. Where's Steve? He's mysteriously absent. One more step, step touch, side to side, out, and in. For four more, in one, two, plant your feet and find your squat here. Push down, make sure you can wiggle your toes at any point during your squat. Think Shoulders down away from your ears. One more. Step out a little wider and lunge side to side. So knees go in the same direction as your toes. Hips under your shoulders. Roll your shoulders back. One at a time. 
try to bring your elbows up. Just opening the shoulder area. Four more, one, two, maybe your whole arm reaches up. Four more to go in four, three, no arms, just the lateral lunge. Again, you should be able to wiggle your toes and your shoes. Hold center, 10 toes towards me. Wide squats here with your hands on your legs. Hold your squat here. Now tuck your hips, tuck under and extend your spine. Do it again, tuck under, extend, do it again. Tuck under, all the way up. Feet underneath your hips and squat here. So this is a narrow squat, one more time. Left leg steps back, one time. Do it again on your right, almost tipped over. Now as you step back, maybe sink your hips and keep your back heel up off the floor. And maybe open your chest, open. So it's your arms out to the side that give you the length in the front of your body. Step back. Do it again. Let's do four more just like that. So out and in, sink your hips. Last time, ankle roll on your left leg. So ankles, ankles are important. You start adding resistance, right side. So ankle roll, really stretch everything out, all the ligaments that go into your foot. Narrow squats here. Two more. All right, grab your set of dumbbells. I'm going with my five for most of this. I'll let you know when I switch. So bend your knees to grab your dumbbells. Shoulders down and back. Parallel squats right where we came from. So we'll teach you all of these things. Second time through will be no teaching section, just going right through. Two more here, left leg steps out to the side, then back to the middle, then right. Easy enough. And then as you step out, toes to the corners, sink your hips. It's a sumo squat. Now double it up, twice on the left. Do it again, and twice on your right. Do it again, same thing left. So sink, push down. One more, this is your footwork, center parallel squat. Keep that in your head. Two more here, palms towards me, hold the top, curls. So up and down, easy enough. Keep your curl, but thumbs face each other, so it's a hammer curl. Two more, let's do one of each. One traditional bicep, one hammer. Do it again, traditional bicep, hammer, just the squat. So we'll put the footwork and the arm work together. Left leg, double sumo, bicep curl, hammer curl the second time. Right side, bicep, hammer, do it again. Bicep, hammer. So this is exercise number one. Let's do it again. Bicep, hammer. One last time to each side. Bicep here, hammer. Once more, parallel squats right here. Easy enough, keep that in your head. Set your dumbbells down out in front of you. Parallel narrow squat, just the legs. Left leg slides out, right leg. So you bend your inside leg, your outside leg goes out straight. Maybe you reach down the opposite arm. So whichever leg goes out, that arm reaches down. But I don't want you to focus on the down. I want you to focus on the opposite, up. Up. So this is the basic move, maybe slightly faster. Out, out. For four, three, option to slow it down, out and in. Two more slow if you like. 
and then you can speed it up. Now you're welcome to stay back the whole time, or you can alternate slowly, again, now quickly, out, out, maybe slow again, again, maybe quickly here, let's do it again, do you go fast or slow, easy enough, parallel squats, that's number two, our first cardio, bend your knees and grab your dumbbells, Shoulders down and back, feet parallel, squats here. Make sure you have room out in front of you. Left leg steps to me once, then your right. Easy enough. As you step forward, your back heel does a little pop up off the floor. Then you sink your hips. Most of you know this one. This is your footwork. Dumbbells at the shoulders. Thumbs facing your face. Maybe you press up as you come back. Let's try four of these. Three, two, this time hold, slow motion bend your elbows. And extend, do it again. Single count, down and up. Down and up. Two more, then bring your arms down, squat to your. We put all that together. Forward lunge, shoulder press, with a tricep press in the middle. Then you do the other side. Right and left leg starts, forward lunge, shoulder press, triceps here. Right side, shoulder press, triceps. Easy enough, sink, press. Tricep, do it again, sink, press, that's your move. This is number three of six. It's our halfway, but only halfway through the learning round, not halfway through the round. Again, we'll go once more each side. Remember, this is number three of six, the last time. Arms come down, parallel squat. All right, set your dumbbells down, parallel squats, make sure you have room behind you, just sort of a combo of a couple of things taken out of the barefoot cardio conditioning, cross your forearms, two more squats here, left leg, diagonal lateral lunge, over to your right, so it's like you're making the shape of a boomerang with this being the point. Cross, uncross. So you're pushing off of your back leg. Your front leg stays straight. Back leg bend. So you can bend, push off. Let's do four more. So four, three, two, center, elbows lift. So elbows, cross. Elbows, maybe your heels lift up. If they do, maybe you press, get a little air. Two more. Step back left, lateral diagonal lunge. Two more. Center elbows lift, maybe your heels lift up, maybe you jump. Two more. Left leg diagonally back. One more. Then elbow lifts. We do these in twos. Left leg, lateral diagonal. Center, elbows lift. Maybe heel lift or jump. Step back left. This is number four. This is your pattern. Step back left. Uncross. Elbows lift. Maybe your feet stay on the floor. Last time. Elbow lift, up, palms together, squats. That was number four, shoulders down and back. Bend your knees to grab your dumbbells. All right, 
Shoulders down and back, parallel squat. The four we've done so far, not too complicated. This one has a little more to it. Remember, you can always come back here. Left leg wide, squat left and right. This part's easy. All the pieces are easy. It's just how we put them together. Two more. Now squat from the center here. This time we'll do just the left leg. Wide squat only, right here, left. Out, up. On the next one, maybe you knee lift. Knee lift, up. Two more. On the last one, hold. Extend your left leg back behind you and back to your knee lift. Now, of course, you can always touch the floor right there. So it's back behind you, toe tap or knee lift bound. One, two, parallel squats here. Let's do that much on the right side. Right leg, wide squat. Step in, that tap is maybe a knee lift. One more, hold, toe tap or balance, extend behind you. Toe tap or balance up, extend behind you. Do it again, twice more. Back for two, one more. And parallel squats here. Now I'm breaking it down on both sides. When we finally have the move, it'll be one-sided. We come back around, we'll do the other side. All right, one more, hold up. Thumbs up, lift, do it again. Now up to the side, round your elbows. One of each, one thumbs up, straight up. Side, elbows round, do it again. Front, easy enough. So this is your arm pattern. Give me one more here. And then just a parallel squat. So we'll do just the left side, wide squat once. Now extend to the back once. Back and go. Up, down, extend. Tap for balance. Right here, extend. Can we have the arms? Thumbs up, thumbs up, arms up to the side. What? All of a sudden it got complicated. Do it again. So just the left. Fly up, extend. Thumbs up, fly up. Again, thumbs up. Fly out as you extend. Do it again. Up. We'll do a couple more. Sink, press, lift. I feel like we should do two more because on the other side, we won't have to learn it. So we'll jump right in. Once more. Parallel squat. Keep that in your head. That was number five. Remember, we come back around. We'll do only the right side. Feet wide, toes to the corners. So as you sink your hips, your chest stays lifted. Dumbbells, stay at your hips. Or set the left dumbbell down, then the right. Then pick them up one at a time. So to do this, you are pushing down to come up. Chest stays lifted. Option to jump together, right here. Think, maybe jump, or jump every other. Remember, you push down to come up. Because if you don't, your back will get involved, and you don't need that. You push down to come up. Think, press. One more time through, so it's down, up. Do it again. All right, just the hip sink. That was number six. Parallel squat to recover. Now see if you can talk. Make sure that you can, but that you don't feel like it. You should be just breathy enough to feel like you're working and that you don't want to talk. If you're wearing a gadget, give it a little look. So we'll do all six. Only one of them is one-sided. I'm gonna give you four more squats. Either grab a sip or towel off or both. 
Here we go, palms to knee, left side, double sumo. Biceps, hammer curl. Do it again. Biceps, hammer. Again, just remember, you're pushing against the floor to come up. Otherwise, you lose part of the exercise. So sink, push, sink, push, sink, push. Do it again. Breathing all the way in and all the way out. So we are kid free till Sunday. How did that happen? Sort of kid free. She's at a horse show. We're going to it, but she's sleeping there. Parallel squat. That was number one. Sit your dumbbells down. Out of your way. This is our slide squat. Option to go slow. That was really slow. Or you can go quickly here. So out. Out. Remember, chest lifts. Reach behind you. Now option to slow it down for a couple. Then speed it up. You can go all slow or all fast. I'm slowing down for two, then quickly for four. Four, three, I'm slowing down. You don't have to. Four quickly. I'm slowing down. You decide. Four quickly if you're ready. Last time. Four quickly. Four. Three parallel squats. See if you can talk. It's a cardio drill. Definitely send your heart rate up. Check it on your wrist if you're wearing a gadget. Bend your knees, grab your dumbbells. Make sure you have room in front of you. Four more to settle. Then we do a forward lunge with a shoulder press and a tricep. Left leg starts. Sink, hold here, tricep. Again, same thing. Sink. Press. Do it again. This is number three of six. Sink. Press. Yep. So sink, push down, come up. Elbows facing knee for your triceps. Do it again. Sink. Press. You have it, I hope. Ooh, I whistled. Which I've never really been successful at. One more each side. Do it again. Sink. Press. Once more. And arms down, squat. All right. Please get out of your way. Far out of your way. Parallel squats. Check your space. Do you have room behind in diagonal? Cross. Left side, diagonal back. Uncross. Elbows up twice. Maybe heel lift or jump. Step back left. Uncross. Elbows lift. Heel lift or jump. Step back left. I'm sweating. Elbows lift. Up. Let's do it again. Step back. Uncross. Push up. Elbows up. Heel lift or jump. Do it again. Step back. Elbows lift. Maybe heel lift or jump. One more time. Step back. Elbow lift. Maybe jump. Parallel squat. Whew. Use my hands just to get rid of the excess. Scott is still walking around with a stick in his mouth like a cigarette. Grab your dumbbells. Bend your knees to do it. Shoulder down. Parallel squat. Gunner's been a little mopey since Milo went home. Poor dog. Right leg, just the footwork. Wide squat. Extend behind you. Maybe you bounce. Ready to add the arms? Thumbs up. Elbows round. Tap or balance. Thumbs up. Elbows round. Tap or balance. Extend round, thumbs up. This one is difficult, mostly for your brain, and then for your core, and then for your 
quads and glutes. Where were we? Had a random phone call come in. Sink. Press. Let's do it again. Thumbs up. We'll do two more. So we're even on both sides. Sink. Press. Lift. Last time. Parallel squats here. That was number five. Feet wide. Toes to the corner. Sink straight down. Remember your chest stays lifted. This is number six. Set a dumbbell down. Step or jump together. So I love to jump every other time. You decide. You can jump every time or no time. Do it again. Sink, press down. So the important part is to push down into the floor. You don't want to feel this in your back. Push down, jump. Again, sink, push down. And don't think of it just as we come up, but it's a push down last time. Sink, press, sink, press, sink, press. Parallel squat, that was six. Okay, see if you can talk. Check your wrist. If you're wearing a gadget that measures, set your dumbbells down. Grab a sip of whatever you brought to drink and or towel off. Ooh. The sweat is a good thing, yeah? All right. Having a sip oh, or a spill of my water. And just so I don't kill myself. Okay. All right. Grab your dumbbells. Oh, this is the one that I'm going to try to use heavier dumbbells for. So if you have a heavier set, grab them now. Whew. Yes, Beth, she is. I love that you even knew that. So if you want to know, so I don't just announce where my kid is, look at the chat. Because when I, this plays back, you won't be able to see the chat. So if I say it, it'll be out forever. I don't need any weirdos scoping out my kid. But yes, exactly where she'll be. She's up there for her practice run today, tomorrow, Friday. All right. Left leg, wide squat to the side, and then right. And I know for some of you, you gotta scooch up to your phone or your, whatever screen you're using to see the writing. So this is your foot pattern. Easy enough, one more, parallel squats. Beth, how did you even know about that? I know so few people who are know anything about equestrian. Hold your squat, palms towards me. Now row by pulling your elbows back, your dumbbell stops at the hip joint. Extend, so row, extend. As you row, you wanna feel your shoulder blades. You, wait, Beth, you ride? How have I known you for 150 years and I did not know that? If you wanna meet me there, I'll be all about it. One more, center, come up, squat. So, and that goes for anybody. Anybody wanna meet me there? You wonder where there is? Message me after class. It'll be early on Saturday and Sunday. All right, left leg, step out, squat, hold, row once, back together, on your right. Sink, row once. Same thing, so you sink, row, so you want to feel your shoulder blades pinch together. You want your elbows going straight back. You want your dumbbells coming up to the hip joint. One more each side. This is number one. Last time, keep this in your head. Parallel squats right here. So the best since you ride. Set your dumbbells down, that's for everybody. You can understand my pain in my wallet. Feet wide, toes toward knees. 
All right. This is your base move. I think everyone who's live knows this one, but I'll break it down just in case. Hands to the floor, step to plank. Step right back to your wide foot position. Push down, come up squat. So for some reason it's tempting to stay back in your plank, but try not to. Come right back here. Hands down, step to plank. Step back. Push down, squat. Yes, I am back. Super step back. Yes. When you ride a horse, pretty much all you can do because there's no money for anything else. One more in this level. I'll give you some options. Next option is from your plank. You can lift your tailbone up right here, then push and jump to Y. Push to roll up, squat. Try it again, hands down. Step, tailbone lift, step or jump. Push down, squat. Do it again. Step back, tailbone lift, step or jump. Next option is a jump to plank. Hands down, step or jump. Step or jump. Push down, extra squat if you took two jumps. Hands down, step or jump. Step or jump. So you have a lot of options. You can mix them up. Hands down, step or jump. Step or jump. Push down. Let's go one more time. Hands down, step or jump. Push down, keep your squat. See if you can talk. Two more to recover. Grab your dumbbells. I'm going back to my light one. All right. Parallel squat. Make sure you have room on your side. This group of six exercise, exercise is, is a lot about your back. Two more, left leg, lateral lunge, just to the side. So bend, press, bend, press. Now Beth, you know that my intention was for my kids to dance. So I signed up for dance and gymnastics. And then just one lone week of pony camp when she was six. And then all bets were off. All right, so this is your move, lateral lunge. Let your dumbbells hang down. Once more, parallel squat. Keep that footwork in your head. So even though it's a step side like we've been doing, this time it's a lateral lunge. Hold your squat. Dumbbells end to end, long spine. Dumbbells come up to 90 degrees at the elbows, extend. Do it again. So elbows bend, shoulder blades pinch together, knuckles face the ground. Single count, lift. Extend. So not lift and drop. Lift, extend. Just four more here. Lengthen your spine. Try to wiggle your toes. Two more. Wide row. Come up. Squat here. This is a little different than a back fly. You want to really feel your shoulder blades go together and then 90 degree the elbow. Let's put it together with the lateral lunge. Left side, hold here, wide row, push down, come up. On your right, sink, wide row, come up. Do it again, sink, wide, do it again, sink, wide, push down. Remember the secret to coming up is pushing down and if the weight's in the middle of your foot, you'll engage both the hamstrings and the quads and the glutes. If your weight is forward on your foot, you'll mostly engage your quad, which we do too much already. Last time, come up, squats here. Set your dumbbells down. Towel off if you need. Four to recover here. Four, push down. Three, two more. Step touch, left and right. Left, right. Easy enough, we did these to warm up. Let's syncopate our step touch. Step touch, step touch. Easy enough. Over, you can do just this if you want, or hold here, reach up, right there. Together, reach, maybe your heels lift up. If your heels are lifting, 
If you jump, up, together, jump, together, up, together, up. Let's do it again. And over, up. This is number four of six. For four more, three, two, step touch, side to side. Keep that in your head. That was number four with lots of variations. Ooh, a breath. Grab your dumbbells. All right, parallel squats. Make sure you have room on your side. This will be familiar footwork, but this time not a sumo, a double wide squat here, left leg. Do it again on the right. So this is a traditional wide squat. Maybe it's a knee lift, knee lift. Do it again, sink, up. That's your footwork, sink. Push down, push to come up. Last time here, parallel squat. That's your footwork. This will be one arm at a time. Left arm. Swings up from the shoulder. Keep it down. Now your right arm. Down. Lift. Pull down. Off the side. Lift. That's all it is. It's almost hard to do it just once. Each side. The sink. Up. Do it again. Lift out the feet. Left side goes out, lift. Push down, keep your arm down. Other side, lift only once with the arm. Do it again, sink, lift. Do it again, sink. Push down, use the floor. This is number five of six. Once more, each direction here. Sink, lift, one more. Parallel squat. Keep that in your head. Set your dumbbells down. I say the hardest for last. Parallel squat. So this one starts innocently enough in a pedal, moves to maybe a hop, then maybe a cross country ski. You ready? Either pedal or hop. So pedal or hop. If you're in a hop, you can cross country ski. Easy enough. Single, single, hold. One, two, hold. Maybe you sink on the hold. Reach up. One, two, hold. Again, this is your final exercise of six. Four more, any level. Four, three, two, Parallel squats. See if you can talk. But your legs are on fire. So that was six. We'll go all the way through. One, two, three, four, five, six. No teaching phase. All doing. Grab your dumbbells. Oh, I'm going heavy on this one. Remember? The underhand narrow row. Not sure if I can do the heavy. They feel like they weigh a thousand pounds right now. Here we go. Left leg. Wide squat, row, narrow. Shoulder blades together. Other way. Sink, row. You want your elbows going straight back. Palms facing knee. Feel your shoulder blades move towards your spine. You breathe all the way in and out. Again, sink, long spine, belly button pulling towards your spine as if you were bracing yourself to cough. Again, try not to compromise your length and spine position. Just one more time on your right. Sink, row, parallel squats here. All right. Set your dumbbells down. Wide parallel squat right here. Lots of levels. You can do it just stepping or jumping. Ready? Hands down. Step or jump. Step or jump. Push 
down, one or two squats. Hands down, step or jump, step or jump. Use the floor to push against, even for the jump. Hands down, step or jump, push off. One or two squats. Hands down, step or jump, step or jump, push down. Let's go twice more. Hands down, step or jump, push down. Last time, step or jump, two squats. All right, narrow parallel small squats. The next move, lateral lunge, wide row. I'm gonna try to use my heavier dumbbells. It might be a bust, but I'm gonna try it. Grab your dumbbells, whichever set you like, if you have more than one. All right, four more to recover. Then we begin, side wide squat, wide back row, left side right here, squat row, or wide, yes, wide row. Remember that's 90 degrees at the elbows. Shoulder blades still move towards each other. Sink 90, extend. Be aware of your form. 90, extend. Come up. Sink. 90, push down to come up. Long spine. Brace your core. Do it again. And sink. Row. Whew. This is number, what is number three of six? Last time, parallel squats right here. Set your dumbbells down. I have so much sweat in my eyeballs. Ready? Step touch, just step touch. Remember, we'll syncopate this and simulate a jump shot. Four, three, syncopate it. Reach, maybe jump. Over. Jump, maybe. This one is deceiving. Looks easy, but it's harder than it looks. Over. Jump. Or just reach. Or just jump. Up to you. Up. Four to go. So four. Press. Three. Last two. Parallel squat in the center. Put your heart rate. Settle. See if you can talk. Make sure that you can. If you're not able to, that means you want to bring it down a hair until you're breathy but not breathless. All right. This is our double side squat. One arm at a time. Grab a set of dumbbells. I'm going to try to go heavy. I don't know why. Just am. All right. Think about where you're going. Make sure you have space. Left side, double wide squat. Arm lifts, just once. Other side, sink. Lift, this is hard to lift. So I went from a five pound dumbbell to a seven and a half. That is a 50% increase, which seems crazy. Guess I better order a pair of sixes. Push down, lift up, do it again. The only company I know that does every increment of weight is Spry, S-P-R-I dot com. I don't get a piece of it. I just know that they have what we want. Sink, lift. One more. And parallel squats right here. That was number five. Set your dumbbells down. Recovery squats. Before we do our single, single, double, maybe it's a pedal, maybe it's a hop. Ready? Pedal or hop. Pedal or hop. Pedal or hop. If you're hopping, cross country ski. Four, three, single, single, hold. One, two, hold. Maybe sink, maybe reach. Pick a level and run with it. Maybe you're here. Maybe you're here. Two more. Parallel squats. Breathe all the way in. 
all the way out. Feet wide and lunge side to side. Shoulders back. Let your heart rate settle. Elbows up. Trying to go like this and see the heart rate is up high. Whole arm. Elbows. Just your shoulders. Parallel. Palms together. Wiggle your toes. Recovery small squats. Two more. And both arms come up. Inhale, reach up. Bend both knees, squat, tuck your hips. Then round. I never mentioned the after party. We'll do a deep stretch and some plank side abs. This time, round all the way up. Shoulders down and back for four, three. Stay on your feet, walk yourself around. Towel off, grab a little sip of whatever you brought to drink. That format, it doesn't matter how many times we do it, it always kicks my butt. So when we go to the floor, you want to have one dumbbell nearby. I'm just gonna move my mat so I'm not right up in your face. Drive my sweat pond. So I'm gonna scooch back just a little. All right. Grab an extra towel. You don't have to turn sideways. I'm going to. So, oh, look. I got the holy towel. The rest of it feels like it's in such good shape that when I take it out of the cupboard, I think, oh, this is a good one. Someday I'll do a wide frame. You can see everything you're missing in this room. It's not that exciting. All right, you'll have a seat. Keeping one dumbbell nearby. Now, if some of you may have noticed, there's an addition to the trophies up on the mantle. The little trophy next to Tinkerbell is my daughter's trophy. For eighth grade, she was awarded the star vocalist. That's exciting. Two things I'll never do, be star vocalist or be in a horse show. All right, so sit up tall, knees bent, Feet flat on the floor, sit up really tall. You want to use your muscles in your back. Have one dumbbell ready. Arms out in front. Your front arm has the dumbbell. As you curl back, row back with the palm up. Come up, change sides. Row back on the knees. Oh my gosh. Change sides. Whew. Curl, row, and up. So your palm is up, elbow goes straight back. It rubs on your rib cage. Again, curl, do it again, curl, row, same thing, curl, row, again, curl, we won't go faster, but we will do four more, this is one, come up to two, oh, the knees won't go away, one more each side, curl, last time, curl, and up. Set your dumbbell down, arms out front. Just curl, your arms should go nice and light. Bring your arms to a V as you curl. Up, curl, V, do it again. Curl, V, next time we'll hold. Hold right here, shoulders down, front knee, lift up. Set it down, back knee, set it down. Push your shoulders down. Try to rotate towards me and send your back away from me. Focus on keeping your arms in a V as you take your rotation over. One more each way. Then double pulse here. One, two, one, two. Again, and then forward fold. You can keep your knees bent or straighten them as much as you like. As long as you release your low back, round your back, separating your shoulder blades. Inhale, chin to the chest, exhale, bring your eyes up, shoulders, and your body. At the top, sit up tall, tuck your hips, 
fingertips to the sides, I'm gonna scoot forward to help you roll down. When you're all the way down, knees into your chest, rock your knees side to side, giving your low back a massage and your spine a rotation. Maybe you extend your top leg as you rotate across. Up to you, depending on how much stretch you need. Then hold in the center, feet on the floor, fingertips behind your ears, squeeze under your armpits, and lift your shoulders up just a little bit. Just a little hold or a little pulse. Easy enough. Just trying to keep your shoulder blades off the floor and give it a little pulse without pulling on your head. You want to focus on keeping your elbows out to the sides. Four, three, two, really easy enough. So I want you to have that feeling on the next piece we add in the leg. You've done it before, but now we'll have a little extra technique. Untuck your hips, 90 degrees of the hip and the knee. Shoulder blades press down, fingertips behind your ears. Extend your back leg away from your center. Feel the resistance increase, but try to keep the front leg at 90 degrees. Change side, four, three, you're there on one. Change, four, three, now two counts to change. So it's one, two, one, two. One, two, single count here. Four, three, two, and release. Bring your knees in. So we do the upper body separately and the legs separately. Now we'll put them together in this combo that you know. And now you can apply all that technique. Untuck your hips. 90 degrees in the hip and the knee. Send your tips behind your ears. Extend your back leg out to the wall in front of you. Now squeeze underneath your back armpit. Peel your back shoulder blade off the floor. Let your back elbow fall away and change side. You're there on one. Try again, change. Four, three, shoulder blade lift, elbow open. Four, three, two counts to get there. One, two, one, two. And single to your lift. Peel up, shoulder blade, peel up off the floor, leg comes into 90, double pulse at the top. One, two, one, two, do it again. One, two, eight singles to finish. Eight, seven, peel it up and breathe in. Four, three, two, release, knees into your chest. That was a lot because we did the front and the top and the bottom before we put them together. All right, extend your legs up, cross your ankles, fingertips behind your ears, bend your knees out to the corners, same deal, squeeze underneath your armpits, peel your shoulder blades off the floor, try to keep the diamond shape of your legs, then squeeze your hips and shoulders closer together and away from the middle, and in for two, and out for two, in, crunch, extend, resist the weight of your arms and legs, right here, then you pull everything closer, extend, pull in, extend, hold in, pulse here, without pulling, pulse without pulling, eight to go, eight, seven, final four, one, two, three, release, knees into your chest, set your feet down, as close to your hips as you can get them, arms at your side, maybe pull on your towel or your mat, either way, tuck your hips, push your feet down to lift your hips up, you're looking for a bridge pose, a diagonal line from your shoulders to your hips to your knees, can you wiggle your toes? Maybe you lace your fingers underneath your hips and scoot your shoulder blades closer together. You can wiggle your toes, breathing all the way in and all the way out for four, three, and then carefully release your fingers if they were laced. Then everybody comes down to the floor and knees into your chest. Cross one leg over the other, grab your knees, or slightly further down. 
and pull your knees into your chest. As you pull in, you'll feel the stretch all the way down your top leg into your glutes. That'll help you stay flexible. And change sides, one leg over the other. Grab your knees or slightly further down and pull your knees into your chest. Breathing all the way in and all the way out. Feeling the stretch on the back side of the new top leg. For four, three, and release. Both feet on the floor. Front knee comes into your chest. Extend your leg up only until you feel the stretch behind the front leg. Back leg can walk out if you like. Shoulders press down. Flex and bend the knee. Extend up. Do it again. Flex. Bend. Press the heel up. Flex. Bend this time. Hold your leg up front arm anywhere on the inside of your front leg. Push the leg out towards me, but only as far as you need to feel the stretch on the inside of your leg. That's a tricky one. Press your back hip into the floor. Flex your feet and press your heels out to the wall. And then bend your front knee back to the center. Front arm goes out to the side, back arm across your bent knee and take your knee over away from your screen reaching out with your front fingertips maybe you feel the rotation all the way through and then come back to the center change legs front foot on the floor extend your back leg up maybe your front leg walks out maybe it doesn't flex and bend the back knee Extend the leg up. Do it again. Flex. Bend. I just realized I'm using a playlist that's illegal to post. And hold your leg up. Take your back arm anywhere on the inside of your back leg. Press out to the side only far enough to feel the stretch on the inside of your back leg. Front hip presses down into the floor. Flex both feet. Are your shoulder blades pressing down? You're welcome, Edie. Breathing all the way in and out. And then bend your back knee to the center. Back arm reaches out to the side. Front arm across your knee. And take your knee over towards me. Reaching out with your back fingertips. Just leaning right into this rotation. And come back to the center. Both feet on the floor, flip over. You know it's our quad stretch. Over onto your stomach, arms and legs extend out. <laughs> You're so sweet, Edie. Bring your front arm back around. Try to grab where your shoelaces are or would be if you're barefoot. Pull your heel to your hip. Hip to press it down into the floor. Breathing all the way in and out. And release, change sides, back arm reaches around, grab where your shoelaces are, pull your heel to your hip, hip to the floor, breathing all the way in and out. If you can, keep your back knee bent like this and bring your front arm around, try to grab both feet. If you're not here yet, work on it by grabbing your heels or your pants. Maybe your socks, if <laughs> they won't pull all the way out of your shoes. Once you're here, pull your, push your feet into your hands and lift your knees up. Then lift your chest, possibly, and open your shoulders. Breathe through this and release. You're welcome, Beth. <laughs> yes, I know. Hands inside the chest. I'll post it and they'll probably just squelch it. Press your chest up. Hips to your heels. Child pose, pressing your chest through your shoulders. Rotate your thumbs up towards the ceiling, hands are on their sides. And then release your palms back to the floor. Then round up to a tabletop, hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, then tuck your hips, round your back, wrist under shoulders, press down to lift your tailbone up and then walk your feet up towards your hands. 
to a forward fold. Let your head hang. Lift your tailbone up. Slowly unroll one bone at a time. When you are all the way up, this crazy class is done. So in five minutes, I'll come back for after party, which will be a deep stretch with a towel, some plank core work. And then Friday, not only do I have horse show stuff, I also have the World Fitness Convention online. So Friday, I'm not here. And then Sunday, I have the horse show. So I'll be here Monday. Probably next week will be Monday, oddly Monday, Tuesday, Friday, I think is what I can fit in. But I will post that for you and I'll tag as many of you as I can to let you know. So I'll either see you in five minutes or next week. But work out, pull one of my old classes.